I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com on Saturday, July 14th. And I want to look at Bank of America here in this video. I go in to give uh, the rest of the financials a pretty good treatment um, in our StockWatch video over the weekend. But I want to just look at Bank of America um, here. They announce earnings uh, next Wednesday. At least that's what I have. That's on Wednesday the 18th. And I have that from two different sources. Um, I would expect this to continue up. I don't know, you know, what's going to happen after um, uh, after they announce earnings. We got three trading days um, until that happens. So, but I know this: J.P. Morgan popped on um, their earnings. Bank of America also, of course, moved up um, over four percent. But we've still got more to go. Um, I'm looking at about another forty cents or so on this run before you would look for profit taking um, to come in. So here's the thing, and this is just a real quick video. I just wanted to frame this, uh, frame this trade for you. So um, we have two trading days, um, not three, uh, Monday and Tuesday. Uh, company announces earnings Wednesday morning. So we've got two trading days, and I'm looking for a move up to fill this gap. The gap between the 20 day moving average and the upper Bollinger Band. I think there's your quick trade. Trade for you right there. As far as what it's going to do after earnings, really, really difficult to say. And I look at it as two different trades. There's the pre trade, um, pre earnings trade, which is a trade that I'm just outlining, and then the post earnings trade. And in that respect, this is the time frame I would use. I would want to use the um, the weekly chart because it keeps me honest, keeps me knowing that as far as the 200-day moving average here, the 40-week moving average, Bank of America is actually uh, pretty close to it relative to all these other big excursions and all here. So in my view, the path of least resistance, brace yourself, is upward because the stock has been around this 200-day uh, moving average which, that is now finally moving higher again after moving lower for it seems like nine lifetimes starting to move higher again so on this weekly chart post earnings if earnings are good you're gonna get a lot of wiggling and jiggling around here um, but you're gonna see in my view a tendency for the stock to move higher just because all the technical indicators, the tumblers, so to speak, are falling into place in that regard. But that's for then. This is for now. Looking for a quick trade over the next couple days as um, traders rush in to buy Bank of America before earnings. Okay, members, weekend update. I got a lot of stocks that I want you to be looking at. Um, a lot of them are working really well, and they're the ones that we've been covering for a while. So let's get over there now.